Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be doing a full breakdown for the upcoming Dokkan Fest Ginyu Goku release for my fellow global players to hopefully help you guys decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned Dragonstones to try and pull him when his banner drops in about 12 hours from now, or if you'd rather save those stones for something else in the near future, such as, I don't know, the 7th anniversary banners, for example. Now, before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is GamerSups. If you guys haven't picked up a waifu shaker like this one for yourselves, or tried one of their many, many supplement flavors, then make sure to head down to the link in my description. And if you see something you like, you can use my discount code TIGER for 10% off your entire purchase. Once again, that is GamerSups and code TIGER for 10% off everything. So, with that said, let's uh, jump right into it here, and we will start by watching the animations for the Ginyu Goku, as well as the two new side units, which are the Int uh, Jason Birder, as well as the STR Raccoon and Guldo. So, here we go. I'm going to full screen this. Let's turn up the volume just a little bit. And uh, obviously, I've seen these multiple times now, but hopefully, you guys like them. So... Yeah, enjoy. Okay, so those are the animations for the Dokkan Fest Captain Ginyu slash Ginyu Goku, as well as the side units. And uh, as a whole, I think they look really, really good, especially the Ginyu, but of course the side units are clean as well. Um, they're fine for what they are, which are, you know, non Dokkan Fest units, but the Ginyu, I think, looks absolutely phenomenal. I think it really helps that I've always been a huge fan of the Ginyu Force, and specifically uh, Ginyu, so uh, there you go guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think about them. I know they're not like the most hype animations out there. These are, you know, obviously not the most hype characters for most people, but for what they are, I think they did a great job with the animations. So from there, let's uh, jump over to the banner for these units. So this is obviously the JP banner that was released a few months ago on that side. For us, it might not look exactly the same, but it will be very similar, right? So, uh, scrolling down a bit here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven featured SSRs, which is pretty standard. Uh, three of them are brand new. We got the Ginyu Goku, the Jace and Birder, and also the Raccoon and Goldo. And from there, we have four of the uh, older Dokkan Fest units, and um, I gotta say, it's not the best selection. It, it really isn't. I mean, there probably will be at least one replacement, which would be for the Tech uh, Kellen Khalifla, since they're currently featured on the uh, AGL Transforming Cell banner for Golden Week, right? So they probably won't be here again. There's a chance it might stay the same, but 
there's a higher chance that they will be replaced by, I'm hoping, a newer Dokkan Fest unit like the AGL Trunks, for example, because that would make this banner a lot more appealing and increase the overall value of the banner by quite a bit. Um, the rest of the featured SSRs are, um, could be better. They could be better. I mean, the Namek Goku is super old and quite outdated at this point. The Super Saiyan Blue Kalkin Goku um, has a cool active skill, can do some good damage, but his defense is pretty lacking and overall is just not that impressive of a unit anymore, in my opinion. The STR Kefla, um, same kind of deal, can be impressive, but needs to be on the right team with like a orb changing support like the Kaba, for example. And, uh, you know, I think she's kind of like a mid tier Dokkan Fest at best currently. So, you know, while I'm excited for the three new units, while it's nice to have three new units to summon for on this banner, the banner overall does not provide a lot of value, at least in this iteration. If they make a lot of changes and give us like two exciting replacements, maybe replacing the Namek Goku, which they won't because he fits the theme of the of the banner and the celebration, maybe replacing the Kefla and the Kaelin Khalifla for two newer Dokkan Fests, then that would be a lot more interesting. But right now, this banner, out of 10, I would rate it like a six. 6.5 if I'm being generous, but it's definitely one of the worst uh, Toe Confess banners we've seen in a while. That's just my opinion, of course, but uh, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> it's not great. So jumping over to the actual units now, let's take a look at what the Ginyu and the other members do, right? So um, before we jump in, actually, before we start with the details, I just want to say this guy on the right team with like you know, other Ginyu Force units is amazing. He is insane. I know that word is thrown around a lot, but it's very accurate when describing the AGL Ginyu Goku or the Captain Ginyu that becomes Ginyu Goku because um, he does so much damage. He gets so much defense. Um, he's going to carry you through uh, basically any event in the game. I'm talking about like, you know, rainbow status, level 10 links, he's getting between 6 to 7 million attack. On turn 1, he's getting probably over three to 400,000 defense on turn 1, and he's stacking attack, he's stacking defense, he's getting attacks effective against all, so um, yeah, he's just an insane unit, an absolutely crazy unit on the right team. So uh, with that said, Let's take a look at the details. Leader skill is Terrifying Conquerors or Planet Namek Saga. Category key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 170% plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the Space Traveling Warriors category. Super attack raises defense and causes immense damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 180% plus an additional attack plus 50% when performing a super attack. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% per Ginyu Force category ally. On the team up to 50%, Ginyu Force category allies attack and defense plus 30%, attacks effective against all types when there is another Ginyu Force category ally on the team. And his additional boosts are calculated separately, which means that he's getting attack plus 440% when performing a super attack with five or more Ginyu Force category allies on the team. His active skill is the body change into Ginyu Goku, and it can be activated when HP is 70% or less, starting from the fourth turn from start of battle once only. His links are Frieza's army, gentlemen, respect, the Ginyu Force, loyalty, signature pose, and fierce battle, and categories are Planet Namek Saga, Ginyu Force, Dragon Ball Seekers, Terrifying Conquerors, Special Pose, Space Traveling Warriors, and Corroded Body and Mind. Now switching over to the Ginyu Goku after the body change. Super Attack raises attack and causes immense damage, so instead of stacking defense as Ginyu, now you're stacking attack as Ginyu Goku. And passive is 
recovers 59% HP once only, attack and defense plus 200% plus an additional attack plus 50% when performing a super attack launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% or sorry, uh, attack and defense plus 10% up to 50%, and chance of performing a critical hit, and chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 10%, with each attack performed up to 50%, high chance of foreseeing enemy super attacks when there's an ally whose name includes Jace on the team. And the links, I believe, stay exactly the same, and of course the categories are the same as well. The additional boosts are once again calculated separately, so he's getting attack plus 350% when performing a super attack, plus an additional boost of up to attack plus 500%, and defense plus 350% after performing 5 or more attacks in battle. So, like I said guys, this is a crazy, crazy unit. He does... Uh, rely on having multiple Gainy Force units on the team to, you know, get his full potential, to get his full passive off. But, um, you know, in that situation, and I gotta say, the Gainy Force team is really, really fun, so you would want to use him on a Gainy Force team anyways. Um, yeah, he's just really, really powerful. Huge attack stats, huge defense numbers, um, a lot of damage. Um, just really everything you could ask for from a unit outside of the, you know, certain limitations when it comes to the team building, right? Um, but yeah, that is the AGL Ginyu Goku. And I will say, I will say before we move on, that when you become Ginyu Goku, he becomes a lot less reliant on having multiple Ginyu Force members, right? He's going to be uh, essentially getting his full passive outside of the, you know, foreseeing enemy super attacks uh, with a Jace on the team even without any other Ginyu Force members, but you might have some issues when it comes to links, because his links are very specific to Ginyu Force units, right? So you will want to have at least one other Ginyu Force member, like a Jace, for example, to uh, activate a good amount of his links, right? So uh, yeah, that is the Ginyu Goku. He's amazing. Now let's move on to his side units. So starting with the uh, Int, Jace, and Birder. Leader skill is Space Traveling Warriors, category key plus 3. HP, attack, and defense plus 130%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 150%. Medium chance of launching an additional super attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed up to 50%. High chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks. Space Traveling Warriors, category allies, key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 30%, and all allies attack and defense plus 30% when your team has an ally whose name includes Ginyu attacking in the same turn. So essentially, if you have the Ginyu or another Ginyu, um, like the LR Ginyu Force for example, um, on the same rotation, they're providing Q plus 3 and attack and defense plus 60%, which is a lot of support, obviously, right? Lynx are Frieza's army, Frieza's minion, the Ginyu Force, Tag Team of Terror, Signature Pose, Loyalty, and Fierce Battle, and uh, their additional boosts are calculated separately, which means that they're getting attack and defense plus 320% after performing 5 or more attacks, or attack and defense plus 365% with an ally whose name includes Ginyu attacking in the same turn. So that is the uh, Int, Jace, and Birder. Now, moving on to the STR Rakuma Guldo. Leader skill is Planet Namek Saga, key plus 3. HP, attack and defense, plus 130%. Super attack, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers attack and defense. Passive, attack and defense, plus 180%, plus an additional attack and defense, plus 10%, with each attack received up to 50%. High chance of guarding all attacks plus an additional defense plus 50% within the same turn when guard is activated, seals the enemy's super attack, guards all attacks, and high chance of stunning the attacked enemy when there's an ally whose name includes Ginyu attacking in the same turn. And links are Frieza's army, Frieza's minion, Ginyu force, brutal beatdown, signature pose, loyalty, and fierce battle. And their boosts are calculated separately, so they get attack and defense plus 320% after receiving 5 or more attacks, 
plus an additional defense boost of up to 460% within the same turn when guard is activated. So all three of these units are um, really powerful in their own ways. Uh, Captain Ginyu is just an all-around juggernaut. These guys can do some good damage, but are especially impressive defensively. And uh, this unit can also do some good damage, but the support is really what you want them for, right? So um, yeah, that is a breakdown of the banner, the new units, the animations. Essentially, all you want to know about this upcoming release, and the last thing I got to do is, I guess, give you guys my recommendation for whether I feel like this banner and these units are worth dropping stones for. Um, at this point, I hope that you guys are able to make that decision for yourselves, but in case you need a little bit more information, um, it's a tough one. <laughs> it's a tough one, because... From my perspective, these units are really, really fun. They're really, really powerful on the Ginyu Force team, but they're kind of limited in their uses. You know, like you don't really want to use them too much outside of the Ginyu Force category, outside of that team. Uh, obviously, you can. You can use them outside, but they have the best synergy with each other. So you want a team with like this guy, like the Ginyu Goku, you want uh, the two side units. You want the EZALR, uh, Ginyu Force, maybe STR Jace, and one other member. And uh, if you want to run them on other teams, they will be a lot less effective, right? Um, so in that sense, they're not really absolutely necessary. And as I said before, this banner is really not that good. There's not that much value. Like 6 out of 10 is probably the lowest I've rated a new Dokkan Fest banner in a while. And, um, yeah, there's also the other thing that you have to consider, which is the seventh anniversary is like a month away, like literally a month away. We'll be getting the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta slash Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and also the LR God Goku, God Vegeta that become, uh, blue boys, right? So, <sighs> I mean, when you consider everything, the fact that... The team building is limited, the banner's not that good, the anniversary is right around the corner. The logical thing to do would be to completely skip this banner, right? The logical thing to do would just be to not touch it at all, to save as many stones as you possibly can for the anniversary. Um, you guys know I'm not going to do that because I have to summon on every banner, especially because I really want these units, but even then, I'll be going pretty light, I'll probably do like... 300 stones plus the tickets and then call it a day so it's most likely gonna be like a one summon video kind of deal and um i recommend you guys do the same if you are gonna summon then don't do too many stones do like you know three four multis see if you get lucky especially if there are the discounts like the you know steps to get a guaranteed featured unit do those but outside of that it should be a skip for most people okay that would be the smart thing to do that's what i would recommend uh let me know in the comments down below what you guys plan to do though if you are going to be summoning then how many stones are you going to be dropping are you as excited for the ginyu goku as i am or do you just not care about it at all and are looking forward to the anniversary uh whatever the case may be hopefully this video helped you guys out at least a little bit and uh, as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and uh, until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out